it could be the difference between life and death. Right? This is some crazy looking plants. You know, I could die from this this toxin that's on this planet. Right? So, I find that it's more interesting if I'm... You know, if the choices that I make have real consequences. That's another suit upgrade. Sure. Take it. If the choices that I make to do something or not to do something have actual consequences, right? So... Okay. I like the fact that when I make a choice, you know, It could be the difference between life and death, right? Those are some crazy looking plants. This plant is vastly different from anything that I've seen. Inventory full, okay. It's fine. Shield and plate, very nice. Okay, let's light this up. But yeah, I, I'm that's my my goal when playing a game, any game, especially on stream like this, is to make the game a challenge for myself and put real effort into it, right? So There's a lot of points of interest. It's just an encampment. Yeah, looks like it. This planet's crazy weird. I wish they would increase the level of detail, um, or the dis draw distance, actually. I don't want to land there. I wish they would increase draw distance for the higher levels of detail. What is this? This is what? Okay, it's just an encampment. I didn't see whether there was any life on this planet when I landed. But, um... It's certainly an interesting... Certainly an interesting planet. Gek Charm. Okay. Plains of Astioni. Let's get this machinery blueprint. Okay. I see you. I see you, attack plant. You will not get me today. Now there's more machinery over there. Hmm. Seems a long way to walk just for that. This is interesting. Okay. Hmm. 
Right. Another Gek Charm. Okay, we can move those two. Now that those stack, we'll move those over here. Thamium 20. Right. Let's stack the Gek Charms. Okay. A lot of goodies here. Another Gek Charm. That's great. I just went looking for Zinc, and uh, I've discovered so much more. Another Convergence Cube. Okay. Let's find another spot in our inventory. Let's get rid of this 9 Chrysonite. I just don't find it useful at the moment. And we'll put the Iridium. Yeah, okay. And we'll put the Convergence Cubes. What do we got in here? Another shark, okay. Okay. I think we can't get these, right? Chrysonite, yeah. Requires the advanced mining laser. Okie doke. Moving along. An interesting looking landscape. Oh, almost fell in a pit. <laughs> Go ahead and analyze a couple plants while we're here. Even though it's not really our thing. Alright. We need to find a. We need to sell some stuff, is what we need to do. Okay, point of interest. This is a building, yeah? Yeah, that's nice, actually. Did I hit a landing pad by accident entirely? That was weird. It decided to just take a right turn, hard right turn. Some neutral over there. Okay. I don't know that there's any creatures on this planet. There doesn't seem to be any. Keen Dagger, okay. Alright, um... Got so much Thamium. We just, let's just, um, let's do this. That didn't really help, did it? Um... Uh, yes, perfect. Shield and Shard stacks. Okay, double power canister. I guess I can use that to charge my mining laser, right? I didn't get the zinc, did I? That was over there. Hmm. Zinc and platinum quite a ways over. Let's go in let's go in this building. Let's go in this building. Hello. Okay, yeah, I can't talk to him because inventory. Got it. Let's fill this with iron. Let's fill this with plutonium. And stack our plutonium. Okay, now we can talk to him. Physicist entity... Toady something? Okay. Corvax Convergence, something something, Traveler, something something. Lights and electronic life forms mask constrict, and it beams a moving image onto the inside of my visor. Complex equations detailing fascinating technology spin past in a blur. 
The speed of the entity's cognition and understanding is clearly far beyond my own. Images of chemical formula, direct directional energy diagrams, and microdensity devices dance inches from my eyes too, vast to comp too fast to comprehend. I go to ask it to stop, but I realize I can instead ask it to pause, but when? Okay, so if we choose microdensity devices, we're going to get a suit upgrade. If we choose directed energy diagrams, we're going to get a gun upgrade. And if we choose chemical formula, we're going to get a formula for creating a resource. And that's the one I think that we need most of all. The image cycle pauses in a new product formula. I thank the entity. Suspension fluid. Perfect. Okay, that was the last thing that we needed. Suspension fluid was the last formula we needed to actually make our entire warp fuel cyst abilities work. I kind of wish that they wouldn't give you those formulas so quickly, truthfully, because without those, then you have to... Like, at this point, do we need Atlas Passes? I don't know. I don't think so. We just need the base resources and we can make our own. I guess it's faster not to have to land and, and do stuff like that, but whatever. Okay, so as I stand at the terminal, tiny drones go about a series of perfunctory cleaning routines within the pristine observatory. Clearly the former overseer was a stickler for cleanliness, but less conscientious about monitoring incoming communications from distant reaches of space. A beacon blinks invitingly on the monitor. If I can enter the correct access code, perhaps I can make a valuable discovery. 7354, 3547, 5473, 4735. Code is correct. The beacon's mystery is revealed to me. A room. Perfect. All right. So I think the basic planet loop for this character is pretty pretty obvious, right? We find he's looking for ruins on every planet. That's what he's looking for, if he can find any. Korvac standing 25, nice. Okay. All right. Okay, let's check this out. And then, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know I just burned 50 plutonium there, but um, I did not go here. I totally burned 50 plutonium, but I wanted to light this up. I think we, we said we were going to use a power canister to charge our gun, right? Use two power canisters. Perfect. Okay. And then the bolt caster. Um, I guess this plutonium. Perfect. And then some thamium. Okay. Excellent. So I think we've got two extra spots here now. Another power canister. Shielding shard. Okay. Alright, so we can stack the shielding shards and convergence cube. Cool. Alright. It was worth it uh, landing again despite the use of plutonium there. I think it was totally worth it. Alright, so let's check out this ruin. Which is pretty close, apparently. And then we'll go to the space station and sell some stuff. And then it's on to... We'll go back to the planet we were on. We'll go back to our origin system. And talk to... And build a base. That's the goal.
And if we decide to eventually build a mobile base, uh, I don't know that we'll change bases, simply because we can get to it. You know, like, it doesn't really matter where our origin system is, I don't think. I think we can get to it from anywhere in the galaxy. Scan. Get the uh, word. Okay, there's zinc over there. We have learned the the name for entity. Oh, that's cool. Look at the uh, that's sweet. The emerald inside that. Orbital. Memories of F Fautumnal. Brilliant lights erupt from the ancient marker. It encircles me, engulfing my mind with memories and voices of the Korvax echoes. The dreams of entities who worshipped here become my own. For countless generations, the entities of the Korvax disconnected and passed on into the echoes naturally. Each disconnection added to the knowledge and soul of the convergence. Our home was Korvax Prime. Within its foundations, we stored the memories of our race, an ever-evolving equation that defines us. And more words. Experiments. Perfect. And a standing increase. Okay. Giant Gek Head. The uh, destination reached. All right, I think that's it for this planet. Let's go. Into space. Let's get to the space station. One second. Space Station time. So we're going to sell all of our goods. 
guess we can go ahead and charge this in flight. Yeah, we can. Sweet. Okay. So we don't have to start to charge that. That's good. This this um, solar system seemed larger than the last one we were in. Definitely larger because. Definitely quite a bit larger. That's a cool ship that just landed. I like this ship. Wow. This is a cool ship. Something something traveler. What would, what does your ship cost, sir? 900,000 units and a lot of upgrades. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Let's check it out. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, oh, I, I must have already talked to these guys. Okay, all right. Already talked to them. So let's just sell stuff. Um, we want to sell the Viking Dagger. And the rest of it we'll keep. Sell the Gek Charms. Sell the Convergence Cubes. I think everything else for the moment. Okay, perfect. All right. So we've already talked to all these guys. I keep forgetting that I can double talk to, to guys. 